Alrighty, so the last thing I made was the current mappings view, if you remember that's this one. Now I just finished the generation page, and that looks like this. So the way that it works is you have a filter list on the left and preview options on the right. So by default, you will always be excluding already mapped things. And to add a new filter, you go to filter type, choose the item you want. Let's do include classes, add. I want anything that starts with com slash, so the com package, that'll match our com mojang whatever, done. But I also want to add an additional filter to not map anything private. So for instance, the fields here, so width, height, renderer, and running. So if I want to do that, I can just go to exclude modifiers, add, and then do private, and just keep that on anything because uh, there's no private classes. So this should map everything in the com package, but not include anything that is private. So we can preview these mappings by clicking generate. That shows us what it will look like and gives us a rough overview down here with how many items it mapped. So let's see, uh, exclude class. Oops, that's exclude classes in com, my bad. But you can kind of get the same idea. So the NetJav on the package, that's not going to be a com thing. Uh, but we also want to prevent anything in there that is private. So if we go look at this class, which is CMM fast math. Let's see. Uh, the two power of N64 should not be in our list here. I, oh, I didn't install a search menu. That's, oops. Well, let's see, where is that? So that's, uh, we'll just look for the two pals. So we have pal tabs, assign the tabs. Div. Okay, here, here. So we have 2pal23f there. Then we go down to 24, 24, and then we should have another 24, and then 26. And we just jump straight to 26. So yes, we are excluding the private option there. Of course, I can make it more clear by going to... That's not what I want. Uh, exclude names. Let's just do fields. And the name will be anything with two in it. So if I generate, you can see all those two items go away. And when you're done, and uh, you're happy with what this looks like, you can see here, uh, then you just hit the apply button. So you can see the name of the class here got mapped to class 17. We are now class 17. All the fields got updated. Things that are containing the two in there, they didn't get mapped. A little bug I got to fix. Uh, I don't reset the, the mappings. So the incrementing pattern here just stays. So that's why this is class 17 and not one, but that's an easy fix. But anyways, uh, that pretty much showcases this uh, little utility here. The nice thing is that down at the bottom here, there's things like including white spaces, non-ASCII characters, and reserved keywords. So those are some common obfuscation patterns that you can now just, you know, add a one option there, do add, and then hit generate, then apply, and get rid of them. Plus, it gives you a nice little preview here if you want to go through and check. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it.